a very exciting video for you today and I'm more excited than you even know because I'm doing an unboxing and I have had this for the last couple days and it's been sitting on my dining room table but I wanted to unbox it on camera so I have been so anxious. It's like I've been waiting for Christmas morning to come or something. I did a little bit of a splurge, kind of unexpected, kind of expected. I got a new Chanel bag. I have not purchased a Chanel bag in years. Unbox it and then I'll kind of give you like, I'll give you my thought process and the little story that goes with it. So they actually shipped it to me from the store. I saved a bunch of money on tax. This is how it comes. Boxed tissue paper. And then the box is wrapped in plastic too. Little bitty box. Looks like this. I'm so excited. Okay. The ribbon's different. The other ribbons I have are white satin. This is more more like gross grain. So this is what the box looks like, obviously. And then inside, they package it really well with some foam here. Here's a dust bag. Oh. What it looks like. I thought I was gonna get a little bit of a different dust bag, but I've had the I have these dust bags. This is just a black cotton bag. It says Chanel on it. They tied it at the top. I'm so excited. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. I have it wrapped so perfectly. There she is. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so pretty. So this is my new baby. Here she is in all her glory. This is a boy bag with Stingray and they're calling this color beige. However, I would call it taupe or mushroom. It even has a little bit of a purple undertone and then the hardware is kind of a brushed silver. The clasp looks like. inside and see a crossbody bag like that or you could wear it as a shoulder bag a little bit smaller okay there I tried to shut my light so you could see this better this is the part that sold me it almost looks like an iridescent and Hopefully you can see, like I said, it kind of has this like purple, almost Aurora Borealis sheen to it. This is the spine. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story behind this. I had gone in just to, just to kind of browse around. I had in my head, I've always wanted a boy bag and I have a classic flap and I have a reissue and they're on the larger side. I've been wanting kind of a smaller crossbody and I definitely wanted this kind of hardware. I didn't want anything gold or flashy or even brush gold because it's just not, it's not feasible for me to wear everything every day. And so when I went in there, I asked her if she had black or gray or burgundy in the boy bags and she had a black one that she could have ordered. She showed me it in a different color and she said she could have ordered it for me, but for me, I just, didn't want to take the risk of having a bag shipped to me that I didn't really see in store. Plus, I already have a black classic flap, so I really didn't want two of the same color bags. These are obviously expensive, and if I'm going to be investing in a bag, I just want to have a little bit of a different variation between them. And so, and the burgundy one she did have was a limited edition, and it had a whole bunch of chains around here with woven leather in between the chains. And it was beautiful, she was trying to talk me into it, and I just said, it's just not an everyday bag. Like, I, it just still looked very flashy to me, and I just, I knew I wouldn't carry it, and I would spend all this money, and it would just sit in a dust bag. So, then she brought out some of the cross bodies, and again, they were in all bunch of colors, and I just, you know, with Chanel, they're classic, I'll have them forever, I want them to have, I want to have them forever to pass down. I wanted neutral, classy colors, classic colors, not something trendy that I would get sick of or regret in years to come. So I was actually leaving the store without anything. I just, she gave me her card. I told her if she had any gray bags come in, let me know or any of the smaller black 
crossbodies or the burgundy just to like keep me posted. So we were leaving the store. I wasn't upset or disappointed. Like I said, I wasn't really going in there with the intent to buy a bag. I just have had in my mind for a year or so now that I've been wanting a boy bag, but I also wanted, uh, you know, I wanted it to look a certain way. So she said, let me just run one more time and look in our back room. So she came down with three boxes. The first one, no, it was like a basket weave. I did not like it. The other one was gray, but it was lizard and I just didn't like it. I didn't like that it was a lizard. I didn't like the design or the texture of it. I just said no. And then when she went to pull this one out, she said, I brought this one down. I know it's not what you're looking for, the color that you're looking for, but I couldn't believe that we even had one in stock. She said this was limited edition. It was sold out everywhere. I don't even know how we still have one. And it's so gorgeous. She said it was my favorite bag when it came out. My best friend has this bag and gets compliments on all the time. So I said, let me see. She pulled this bag out. And as soon as she pulled it out, I was sold. She didn't even have to convince me with that story. She didn't even have to tell me how limited it was. She didn't have to sell me. Like the bag totally sold itself. And I just fell in love with it. I love the color. I really thought it was a taupe. And you guys know how much I love the color taupe. It is even better than gray, I think. And I think I'll get more use out of it than gray because it just is that color. It's like a mushroom. That's the best way I can describe it that I know will just go with everything. And then the texture part, I just love it. I fell in love with it. I didn't even know Chanel made any kind of Stingray bags. I mean, I really don't keep up with the releases, the collections. I don't buy a Chanel bag every day. Like this is a very rare once in a while kind of a thing for me. And so I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. But I'm so happy with this bag. I absolutely love it. I know I'm gonna get so much use out of it all seasons long. And I like the size of it. I'm just excited. I, the more I thought about it, I was really considering a medium to large size boy bag. But my classic flap is a medium large and then my reissue is a jumbo. So I thought it would be a good idea for my collection to just have something a little bit smaller you know, something a little bit more everyday wear that I could still carry around when I have Addison. These still fit a good amount of stuff. I love the clasp on it. And the other thing I was asking her about that I was kind of worried about is the denim rubbing off on it, but she said that they can re-dye bags and I shouldn't be so concerned. And really it's just this flap and where it hits me when I wear it crossbody, it's not really sitting at my jean level. The strap is adjustable just so pretty. I feel like I would have done this bag with gold hardware, but making it with the silver just makes it so much more of an everyday classic bag that's not really flashy. And yeah, I just love it. I hope you guys like it. This is going to be added to my little collection. As you guys know, I have a large handbag collection. At some point I might film it but as I've gotten older, I definitely, like anything else, my makeup, my perfumes, I really want to just downsize my collection and keep classic pieces that I want to have around forever that are going to be classic forever. And I just thought this would fit in really nicely with it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little unboxing. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. I just feel so vulnerable in my skin and this makes me feel so much better in an instant. So